everybody, right now you are watching Rock Titan TV. I am Scotty J. In a couple days' time, we are going to be down at the Camden Waterfront, New Jersey, just across the river from Philadelphia, and we are going to be at Rock Allegiance. And among the lineup is one of the hottest bands in the music scene today, and that is Greta Van Fleet. And we happen to be here with the guitarist of Greta Van Fleet, Jake Kiska, right now. Jake, how you doing, man? Hey, great. How are you, Scott? I am doing all right, man. It is... All right. A, yeah, man. I appreciate your time. I know that uh, it is sensitive, and you guys have been traveling on the road and touring nonstop since your EP, Black Smoke Rising, came out. How's that all been, man? How's how's road life been treating you? Oh, it's fantastic. I think we've all come accustomed to it. And uh, I think that it allows us to sort of evolve in a way, you know, and I think musically and spiritually, it's really it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, dude. So, I mean, I got to tell you, it was a few months back that one of my partners, Tom, uh, caught up with me, and he had just been to a Struts show. And he's like, man, there was this band that opened up for the Struts. He's like, you got to hear them, man. Greta Van Fleet. They're off the hook. I'm like, all right, all right, I'll give them a listen. And sure enough, man, oh my God. I mean, it is, it's very clear to understand why you guys have been getting all the attention that you've been getting. I mean, again, I know you've been dominating the radio waves uh, w with your new single, Highway Tune. And, uh, of course, you've got your new EP out there that's been out there some months now, Black Smoke Rising. Yeah. What's, yeah. It, what's it been like with all this attention? Uh, it's, it's been great. I don't, I don't think that any of us, have, you know, particularly, you know, viewed this as, as being as successful as it was right off the bat, you know, sort of the immediate attention, and um, it's been fantastic, though. It really is the amazing. ability to be able to do what we, you know, want to do. Yeah. Now, how old are you, man? Uh, I'm 21. God, I hate you. I freaking <laughs> hate you, man. If I was 21 again, oh my God, you know, but I know you and, and your brothers and obviously your friend Dan, you know, that's the drummer yeah. for the band. Um... Which one of you is 18? One of you is 18. Yeah, Sam and uh, Danny are both 18. Oh, Sam and Dan are both 18. Okay, so, all right. Yeah. And, and you and Josh are 21. Yeah. Wow, man, that's nuts. So, I gotta, I gotta ask, what was it like growing up in the Kiska household, man? All you guys being musicians? I know your dad was a bit of a musician himself back in the day. Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, it was a unique sort of, uh, you know, bringing up. I think it's like, and it's a, it was such a creatively free environment to sort of just create, and I, not even musically either, you know, it was, it was literature and film and everything, so it was, it was a lot of, uh, a lot of creativity going on growing up, and, um, I think that rubbed off and kind of came through, and, and you know, at, by synthesis, I guess we became musicians, you know. Yeah, there you go. Now, touching on that. Do either one of your parents take particular credit for uh, genetics here, you know, with all you guys being the rockers that you are, you know, dad being like, oh yeah, no, that's all me, man. That's me. That's my DNA right there, you know? Any Anyone yeah. taking credit for this or what? Yeah, they, they both certainly like to try to, you know, take credit over the other every once in a while. <laughs> Jokingly, of course, but it's good fun. <laughs> yeah, no, that's wild. I mean, you guys have such a great, unique sound and it's funny because you know I, I speak with so many people in the industry all the time and and you've probably heard it yourself and maybe that's one of the things that inspire you guys I don't know but you know everyone's like rock is dead you know rock is dead metal is dead and I'm just thinking oh no oh no no rock rock is alive and well and like I told you a little while ago rock Titan music television is coining their own term roar the renaissance is rock and you guys are the godfathers, it. man. Renaissance, Renaissance man. Oh, you've Ren gotten that before. Renaissance of rock, man. You guys are the poster <laughs> boys. You guys are the poster boys for a whole new era of music, man. But at the same time, it's like as young as you are, you guys play with very old souls. You know? I mean, I don't yeah. want to say that it's a throwback. It's not. You know? It's just the style of music that you guys play is so right. strong. And I know there's been a lot of comparisons, you know, with certain yeah. other famous artists out there. And I didn't want to bring it up. And you know what? I'm not going to bring it up. You know where I'm going with this. 
you know. But seriously, your brother Josh, dude. I mean, like, literally, yeah. when I heard his voice, I was just like, no way, man. Like, no way. You know? And, I mean, and the rest of you guys all jamming and rocking out. I mean, it was like, yes! Yes! I mean, there is a reason to be excited again, you know, for this whole new generation that is keeping the spirit alive, that's keeping the style of good old rock and roll going. Um, yes, so You know, seriously... Uh, how long have you been playing? How long have you and your brothers been playing together? Um, well, we've, we've individually been playing for uh, our whole lives, but it wasn't until about five years ago that we came together. You know? Now, now, how did the whole, I guess, instrumentation piece of it break up? I mean, you know, now, you know, are, are you a singer yourself? Do you like doing some vocals? Can we look forward to some more Greta Van Fleet vocals with you and Sam? You know, sharing in the duties here with Josh. Well, the thing is, you know, we, we do we do a lot of the background. You know, right. all of the backup vocals are done by right. the other three of us. Right. You know, so but yeah, you can be looking forward to more of the more of those harmonies and stuff as well. Yeah. Nah, dude, it, it, it's awesome. Now, now, one of the things, just uh, you know, looking at the lyrics for your songs, because again. Uh, Greta Van Fleet's new EP, you know, just came out this past year. Black Smoke Rising, everyone, make sure you go check it out. Black Smoke Rising by Greta Van Fleet. And uh, obviously Highway Tune is one of the songs that's getting the most hype off that. It's getting all the airplay and things like that right now. But looking at the lyrics to that, along with Safari Song, it's like, man, looking over, it's like a lifetime of love and passion. And, you know, I mean, yeah. it's like a, it's like a total... Uh, serenade to all the beautiful ladies out there, man. I mean, they gotta be going nuts right now. You got girls, like, uh, proposing to you, or what, man? As a matter of fact, there's, uh, there's 12 in the bus right now. <laughs> oh, man, you know what? I mean, you say that in jest, but I'll bet you're not lying. They really are on that bus right now, aren't they? I'll tell you what. Yeah, right. This is this is mobile technology at its finest because these guys are actually moving. I don't think you have a green screen of your own with uh, the background with the kind of background moving back and movie, forth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, with all the touring, obviously this is something that's got to be new for you guys. Um, how have you guys been holding up? Uh, actually, fantastically. Uh, you know, it hasn't been a challenge at all, really. I think that we're all kind of built to do it. I dare you to say that to a single band that's been on the road for like a few decades out there. They'll be like, uh, you young we, SOBs, who do you think you uh, are, man? <laughs> no, stamina, endurance. Like yeah, no, nah, man. I mean, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. No, I got to ask you. Now, you, Sam, Dan, you guys all got long hair. What's the story with Josh, man? What, what's what's with the short do? How come he's not sporting some long locks like you guys? <laughs> I think he, he had his hair... Uh, he was there long uh, before we ever did, so I think he, once we all started growing our hair out, he cut his hair, he's like, I'm not going to be a part of it. Yeah, nice, nice. Now, because we have Rock Allegiance coming up here in a couple of days where you guys are going to be, all right, and I know we're going to catch up with you guys when we're there, have you ever been out to the Philadelphia region before? No, it's my first time. Really? Yeah. All right, cool. You guys got to grab a cheesesteak. Hell yeah. I'm not going to endorse anyone here. in particular because they're not sponsoring us or anything like that. <laughs> but, you know, if we had a sponsor out there that, who's a maker of cheesesteaks, I'd be able to say, Jake, this is where you got to go, man. <laughs> Just don't eat one any time before you have to hit the stage. Oh, yeah, that would be no good. Because that could that, be brutal. If you mix that and beer, yeah, like right? walking barrel. Right, right. So, Black Smoke Rising, the new EP that you guys have out, um, you know, obviously, you, you, you got uh, what four songs on there, so yeah. uh, your sets are a lot longer than that. So, is there more original material from Greta Van Fleet that just didn't make the cut, or you know, strategically you were thinking EP versus LP or something like that? How how you guys fill the rest of the space with your set? Well, um, the, the thing is that we we've, we've been writing songs for about five years now. So okay. Sort of a sort of a series of material that we keep, and um, we've probably recorded at this point up to twenty five songs. Okay. And so, yeah, we just take take a lot of we 
take from that sort of uh, archive and then you know play some of those songs live. Okay. All right. Cool. So, is it safe to say that we have an LP from Greta Van Fleet not too far around the corner here? Yeah, it's very safe to say. Okay. All right. Cool. But you can't divulge any more than that, I guess. I'm not privy to that information. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in terms of official music videos, uh, Highway Tune, you guys decided to do an official music video with that, and, you know, it's got millions of hits already, and I'm yeah. certainly not surprised by that. Are you guys, because Rock Titan Music Television is all about the music videos, you guys looking to do anything uh, anything more with any of this new material yours? Any official music videos in the works? Yeah, actually, we, we do have a couple that we're working on, so, okay. but, you know, to, to come soon, we'll have music videos out that we've been putting some time into. Yeah, it's, it's quite exciting. All right, all right. So stories from the road, man. I gotta know, you know? Has there been any kind of drama, any mishaps that might have, you know, thrown the possibility of you guys arriving in Philadelphia safely, you know, off the rails? Uh, Give me some good stories, man. Well, What's going we got on? Pretty, we got pretty close in Baltimore. Yeah? <laughs> do tell, do it's, tell. Um, actually, it's been pretty smooth sailing, and, you know, honestly, there are some particular stories that I'll avoid, uh, uh I see that, how it is, um, I see how it is, you keep it among <laughs> brothers, it's just among brothers. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's been, it's been great, um, yeah, I can't really, I can't really say much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, you know, in, in terms of the songs that you guys write, obviously, you know, your brothers, you know, other than Dan, who's been a high school friend of yours. Uh, in terms yeah. of the writing process, I know all bands have different collaborative um, methods and things of that nature. Is it one of those things where Josh does the lyrics, you do the guitar riffs, and then Sam does the bass lines, you know, and Dan, Dan does his thing? Do you guys really compartmentalize like that, or is there more of a collaboration on the lyrics to the songs? It, it is. It is very much like that. Okay. Um, when it comes to lyrics, every, I think that that's different because, yeah, at that point, all of us have input, and um, you know, because the songs usually write themselves. And it's not one for any one particular way that the song is written, and that songs are written, and it kind of varies uh, between a lot of the material, but. The songs write themselves so quickly that I think the most important part, part is the lyrical part, where you know what does the song mean and what does it feel like. So it's kind of identifying, you know, giving that character. So yeah, it it, so it, it is that way that we all kind of write our own parts. And, um, yeah, except for the lyrics, which, which we all help write. All right, all right, very cool. So the pride of Michigan. Man, there's been a lot of great bands come through that area, but uh, I would imagine yeah. that uh, the woman herself, Greta Van Fleet, is she, like, regretting it all, saying, yeah, guys, run with my name. How popular is she at this point? She's pretty. She's a pretty popular lady. <laughs> Dude, seriously, man. I mean, what a great name, and, uh, you know, very cool lady. What, what made you guys choose the name Greta Van Fleet? You know, I think that she sounded appealing. We had a show, our very first show we ever played together was the very, you know, the, the, the next day, and we said we need a name, and that was that one came up that day. Our previous drummer had said that he had to go and help his grandpa uh, cut wood for Brett and Van Fleet later. So Josh said, "Ah, it's, uh, you know, because it sounded he, he liked the way it sounded." We took the N out because we figured that people would mispronounce that anyway. And then it was just, it was great for him. That's awesome, man. <laughs> That's a great story. Seriously, man. I mean, I love how, <laughs> hearing how some of these things come together, you know, because sometimes it's just like, eh, you know, we threw up a bunch of names on a dartboard and, you know, we're just kind of hitting them and, eh, that's it. But, uh, you know, <laughs> so at least that's more original. That's very cool. That's very cool. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's nice the fact that, you know, every, every, because of the extensive travel that we can take a bit of, you know, home with us everywhere that we go. Yeah, nah, right on, right on. Yeah, no, nah, we're still yeah, good. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, we're still good. All right. But, uh, you know, again, I want to be sensitive to your time. I know you're on the road. Where are you headed right now? We are headed to Mr. Smalls in Pittsburgh. All right, all right, cool. So you're just on the other side of the state from where we are out by Philadelphia right now. 
So yeah. that's very, very cool. And uh, so this is all part of the touring season, you know, and you yeah. guys, yeah. Hey, so we're going to be back, man. We're going to be back for Philly. Uh, all and right. I'm really excited for it. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, very cool. Have there been any particular bands uh, that you guys have had the opportunity to uh, play with so far with all these touring that, you know, really has kind of been like, uh, you know, all inspiring for you as an artist? Yeah, um, we said open for Bob Seger. I think that, that was beyond an honor, wow. you know. The fact that, the fact that, you know, growing up in Michigan and hearing that anyway, being, you know, bred there, it's like opening for Bob Seger is, uh, is one of the greater honors. It's like, it doesn't feel like it happened, you know what I mean? All right. It's well, like someday bands great. are going to be saying that about you. You know, be like, man, we open for Greta Van Fleet, you know? <laughs> Seriously, man, got to keep it going. Got to keep it going. I mean, you know, like we were talking about earlier, Jake, I mean, you know, bands, obviously, some go for years, you know, before they finally hit their stride and get that kind of recognition. But, I mean, no sooner did you guys start making music and, you know, you guys are getting a lot of love and a lot of attention really quick, all very well deserved. And, uh, dude, congratulations. I mean, really, congratulations on everything. And, uh, again, everybody, we are here with Jake Kiska from Greta Van Fleet. We are going to be catching up with them in a couple of days at Rock Allegiance. And, yeah. Got, yeah, man, got their new EP, Black Smoke, rising out there right now. And, of course, their big popular, uh, you know, tune right now is, is Highway Tune. And they got their official music video out there that we are going to be playing. And, uh... Jake, again, man, congratulations on all the success, and I can't wait to meet up with you guys in a couple of days. Yeah, man, definitely. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Can't wait to meet you, man. All right, awesome. Very cool. All right, Rock Titan, we are out.